Dear viewers, today I am going to show flat slab design in Tecla Structura Designer. So first of all, we will check our code, design code. Design code here. It is an Euro code. I will keep it same. We can change it to ACI code. Then it will be designed according to that code. I will keep same like this and I will go to design slab option here we can choose the diameter here grid we can change in the properties material properties okay maximum we can choose 16 and clear spacing this one we can change 300 300 these other things I am keeping same passes pass size we can use default pass size and when we apply pass we can define that pass length and width general parameters cover spacing and other things is same like this I will keep same okay I'll check again the same and global setting because the head codes differ okay no problem I'll click okay we'll generate drawing according to this reinforcement now we will go to the floor which one we have to design ground floor roof this floor I will design to design flat slab you have to draw the slab not on beam you have to select flat slab then you can draw the here unmark the option then you can place the cursor to the node and after finishing the area press enter it will be drawn in the floor so already it is drawn so that one I am not showing and here you can see the 3d view here some wall load applied and the dead load applied dead load is 2 kN per square meter and live load applied 3 kN per square meter now we will check the load combination is available or not here no load combination we will generate according to the code so this combination one for service for strength this for service and here some directional load cases you can choose according to your requirement and here are our load combination so okay now we can go for analysis analysis or static now we can go for design slab So this passed and this has been failed okay now if we want to provide the strips column strip and middle strip we can provide here are some pass option pass column that means we can provide the pass in the columns only then at the outside the column that will be middle strip and we can pass panel using this option we can provide all through the column strip and middle strip so as it is a irregular uh, structure that means uh, the columns are at irregular position so better we will use pass column for uh, almost regular or moderately regular uh, column locations we can use pass panel i am showing that option 
like this this one create pass at centroid i will unmark this one define corner points no need here we can uh, provide the length of the strip and width of the strip we will check first the dimension from here to here Fifteen point eight meter. Then we will go for design as panel here length fifteen point eight meter and width according to the uh, span width day width L by three or L by four. And by four here I am taking for example one meter then I'll this this unmark then you can click on the grid where the columns are located and in the in this direction we can put one meter and this y direction length for example if I check this is 20 meter then we can click on this then it will be like this so in this way we can draw a strip column strips but for this structure there are irregular column locations available so we'll go for pass column Now click on pass column. Here the option. This length and width you can change according to the bay, bay width or center to center uh, clear uh, spacing between column to column. I'll take uh, for example I am taking two by two. I'll click on the columns columns if all bay width are same we can or similar then we can draw like this way this way I am showing as example that's why I am putting all the length and width same our base column or slab passing is finished now we can design our slab and we can design our passes so all are passed so in before we have seen this uh, slab was failed because of the punching and and that time we did not provide the passes after providing the patch uh, it is it has been passed and the pass design will show the required reinforcement additional reinforcement to resist the punching shear in that locations so now it is it has been passed we can see the analysis view also we can go for if it is down this is the meshing slab meshing and we can check the result this is our strip result we can see in 3d view showing the deflection here 2d strip result deflection here we can check our design moment see this is our design moment Uh, no need three is silver. We check share. Here are the share. We can click on this and we can open the strip diagram view. Here are the 
strip here also for moment we can check the moment in diagram here are the diagram so in this way we can check the or we can explore the results and now here we can uh, click on this now we will go for the reinforcement mdx uh, the moment at top the design moment mdx bottom mdy top mdy bottom so this is our results now we will go for punching shear design we will go to design tab and here we will click on 2d view and model view we will draw add check this will provide the punching shear checking option at the column locations we will select all the columns done now press esc okay now we will design punching shear so it looks that all the locations of column has been passed for punching shear and here in contact we can mark the slab item and patches to see the punching share here looks some warning here is status this one we will click on this check punching share and this is warning this is the warning you can see share perimeter okay this is showing that unreinforced punching share resistance so there if we provide the additional reinforcement for punching share resistance then it will be okay so in this way we can design punching shear also and now we can see all the slab panels slab passes slab items other slab mesh slab passes punching set we can remove the punching set anything you want to view or we you want to remove from view you can do it from here go for 3d this so this is here from here from result view we can explore all the result as i have shown before now we will go for reinforcement design we will go to design design slab and here it will appear the review tabs here slab reinforcement okay we will go to 2d view first here it will come panel that means all through the panel the required reinforcement is 8 uh, 150 millimeter spacing and x direction same and bottom we will check bottom it is different uh, here it is coming in x direction 10 millimeter dia bar at 175 millimeter spacing and here uh, here on once uh, 175 and top here 150 millimeter spacing y direction so uh, y direction it is coming downside 200 millimeter spacing and top 8 milli 150 apply 
we can provide this user bar type 2 we can provide 10 milli at 200 millimeter spacing this one we will select here so now all are 10 millimeter we have applied user bar size and spacing and now we can step reinforcement okay now we can select this one we can check slab here this one bottom y direction i have provided 10 200 so it is passed so all have been passed so there is no problem in this way we can customize our reinforcement according to our choice now we will go for uh, drawing generation we will draw the drawing slab and mat detailing ok layout this drugs block is pressing we will click on ok and it will open automatically in AutoCAD it will open as read only it is generated in the default location we can save it save as for example here I'll save and we can change the text also we'll go to concrete column mark okay Yes. concrete column mark here we'll change this one okay apply close now if i close this one then i will open again see the text has been changed this column marking so in this way we can design and generate drawing from our tech life structural designer 2018 uh, the steel diameter uh, type and length and weight that means boq for the steels prepared for the slab so thanks for watching and stay tuned by subscribing my channel uh, like the tutorial if you get benefit from it and you can share the tutorials with your colleagues and friends press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update